I find myself talking to myself as I walk around the house, explaining my positions to myself, you know, because I have to be able to express myself to people because it's such a complicated issue, you know, playing devil's advocate with myself to try and have to express myself to everyone. It's very, very hard. It's like a 24 hour thing, you know, because I know there's a possibility that people are going to come after me. They're not going to understand. So I have to be ready, you know, like, it's like MMA, be ready. When I came out, the biggest misconception was probably that I was cheating, um, which is crazy because I came out as a transgender male, meaning that I had no surgeries and I took no, no, no hormones. Um, my birth sex is female. I was playing on a female team. How am I cheating? <laughs> Some people believe I have an automatic advantage over other female MMA fighters. So they think that, like, well, she has to be stronger because she used to be a male. But if they look into the science of it and what the hormones do to the body, to the male body, once taken over a period of time, I believe it's from like one year to two years. Two to three years. Two to three years, yeah. It dissipates, and that's what they found, which is um, one of the reasons why the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, has allowed um, post-operative trans people to, to participate in the Olympics. When I'm in the ring, do I ever think about sex? <laughs> Believe me, sex or anything of that nature is the last thing on my mind. I don't think any fighter is thinking about that. If they do, they're gonna not have such a great sparring session, especially if they're dealing with me. Do I ever regret transition? Hell no. <laughs> it was the best thing I've ever done with my body and my life, and um, it actually saved my life. It's, it's kind of saddening to hear that, you know, that she was like thinking about committing suicide. I don't know what I'd do without her. <laughs> Not many people can could do what she's doing, um, and I'm proud of her for that. <laughs> uh, makes me really happy that um, that she is where she is now, and that she's gonna help a whole bunch of people. <laughs> She's the uh, last person on earth that would ever be with a man. <laughs> Period. <laughs> you have to take it there, huh? Just saying. Yeah, I, I'm okay. I guess, I guess that would help the answer. I'm not. I've never been attracted to men. I have never been with men. I have never dated men. Um, no disrespect to men. <laughs> it's just I truly am a lesbian. I'm not bisexual at all. And like I said, you know, when Fallon told me uh, that she was trans, it was nothing to me. It was absolutely nothing because she is a woman and she is a beautiful woman and that's all there is to it. I don't feel like, um, oh, I have several people in my life, you know, like, well, why am I fighting this fight? Why, why not just like take the easy route out and just like give up? That's not me. That's not within me. Like, that's not who I am. I'm a fighter, like, you know, that would just be like, like they say, it's like how, when, when they, they made me like this, my coaches built me this way. Like never take the easy way out. You fight until the fight's done. You fight until it's, it's the end. And that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna fight until the end. I'm not, I'm not gonna quit. So I'm not gonna take the easy ride out. Like doing that would just be giving up. And I'm not gonna do that. <laughs>